wood or the decking, outside decking, from the soft woods as well as from the hard woods. Here we have some screws, samples, and then another common application is flooring. It can be engineer flooring when the top layer only is treated, or it can be solid flooring where the whole board is, is, is treated. With thermal modification for the decking and flooring, we can get very good dimensional stability and, 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 and then the shrinking and swelling is minimized from the, from the wood. But we also get very good durability, so it can be used outside and external applications, above ground and in ground contact as well. Then the third one from the most common applications is siding or cladding and, and the siding boards like this is here, ready at the, ready at the pine. Ready at the pine and now the ready at the pine is treated with, the, with our treatment and then now we have a very good dimension stability for the wood which is not possible to use for the siding before treatment because it's shrinking and swelling so much. So these three are the most common applications, but, but many other applications have been used and, and are used. This is the D1++ treatment Plus. level. After the strength testing, you can see that all the fibers are still long and, and, and makes it makes it very strong. There's a bending, bending stress, so there's yes, a weight coming break. here yes. and it finally breaks. Yes, yes. And Actually, okay. the weight was coming from here when it was broken here, but yeah. not was there. Not was there, yeah. Actually, yeah. 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 this way. Yeah. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. And yep. then, the bow. And uh, with this... E1++. Plus plus. Yeah, that's the new, new anti-termite This is the anti-termite anti treatment level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any size of boards, like here we have a thin lamellas or vanners for the for the for the flooring, but then also thick boards, like here we have 75 by 225 spruce is treated. And the good thing is that with thermal modification the durability is going through, you can cut it, you can split it, you can to whatever you want, the durability is there. Even the look house locks can be treated and we get very good dimensional stability and durability. Sometimes the whole lock house is treated like this, but sometimes only the lowest boards. And actually normally when you have a you you have an opening on top of the locks so that the shrinking and swelling can be can be organized to be here, then we, we could do with our kiln it so that we don't even have that at all. We can keep it closed, we don't have cracks to the sides. Okay, so here's the new... So with this size, small laboratory kilns, we are treating the, the small pieces of wood before we start to treat the two loads in the industrial kilns. And, and in that way we can develop the recipe for all the new wood species, all the different thicknesses and widths of the wood, and different limited amounts of components. And, and, and when the recipe is developed first in the laboratory kiln, then we can guarantee that the quality is perfect and it is treated first time in the industrial kit. So, okay. so in these small kilns, laboratory size kilns, we are first testing all wood species and, and, and developing the recipe for all the species, all the thicknesses, all the bits and all the little moisture contents. And in that way we can be 
ensure that when we start the treatment of new kind of wood in an industrial kiln, the quality is perfect in the first pass. The process is fully automated with a computer control, so you only need to enter the information, what you have in a kiln, select the correct recipe and push the start button. And the computer is controlling the whole process automatically from the beginning to the end. The process is including the initial heating, drying phases, so depending on the initial moisture content, do we start from the kiln dried, air dried or green wood? Then we can dry the wood and we first need to dry the moisture away from the wood and then we can do the treatment process itself. And after the treatment in high temperature we do conditioning, we are adding back the moisture into the wood and equalizing the moisture content and relaxing all the stress. And after the conditioning we are cooling down the, the, the wood and the kiln down to the outside temperature and we make sure that that way so that we, we keep the moisture will stay in the wood.